I think you guys are going to be disappointed in me. I uh, didn't have enough reclaimed ash on hand for this project. So I actually had to buy lumber. I honestly can't remember the last time I had to do this, but uh, hoping this will make you respect me again. all those pieces of ash down to roughly two inches so that I can alternate the grain to stabilize the panels that are going to be the shelves. That way instead of the board wanting to cut as the wood moves around, that will stabilize it. Smiles and rainbows. great thing about having these angle brackets mounted to the bed of the CNC is that they act as clamps but also registration points. So paired with these hold down clamps, this workpiece is not going to go anywhere and with these corner brackets that's going to maintain the setup for every single one of these work pieces. So that means I only had to set the zero point on the first work piece and then I can repeat the same exact setup for all 24 of them. Makes things pretty easy for mass production. Never freehand on a table saw.
So to finish off this project, I'm gonna be using some new Minwax products, including their water-based wood stain, and then maybe some other coloring effects from what they call their design series. I'm very indecisive, so I kind of just ended up grabbing one of everything that I like since I couldn't decide what I wanted in the store. But as you saw, their water-based wood stain, you can custom tint, and we decided on bay blue. There's a couple hundred different colors that you can choose from, but it's just like paint in the way that you bring it up to the paint counter and they custom tint it, whatever you want. I also got some whitewash color wash and then wood effects, which is an accelerant to like accelerate the weathering, the graying color of the wood. It's basically witchcraft. So I have three pieces of ash here that I did some tests on to pick my favorite color. I picked ash specifically for this project because it has a fun grain like oak, but it also has a lot of variation in the coloring of it. So all three of these have the blue wood stain, no wood stain, and then we have natural, whitewash, and then the graying weather effect. So being the indecisive person that I am, I'm having a hard time deciding. I think I'm gonna do a combo of two ideas because of that. So the backer panel is going to be the blue stain with whitewash, and then all of these waves will have the gray weathering effect without the blue stain. And then both of those will get finished up with their wax. Thank you for joining me for that build. That was the first project of many for the new house. It's also my first time using the tinted colored stain from Minwax, who I want to shout out for making this video possible. This product utilized Minwax's water-based tinted wood stain, plus their color wash, wood effects, and soft touch wax. And these are all from their new design series of products. Now these products are all amazing for highlighting the grain and really making it the feature of your project. So all these Minwax products and more are available at your local Lowe's store, plus at Lowe's.com, and I'll link down below everything that I used for this project. Now we live near the coast, so because of that and the shape of the project, my goal was to create kind of a sun-faded, weathered, beachy look with a pop of color and a lot of character. And I think that's exactly what I did. And I won't let you tell me otherwise.
Now the stain is available as either a solid or semi-transparent version, which is what I use because I wanted the grain to remain very prominent. Also, you can tint it like I did, or you can choose from a handful of different colors that are pre-mixed off the shelf. Now on top of all this color treatment, I used Minwax's Soft Touch Wax for the perfect matte finish, and it's a nice feeling on the wood. Not that I'm gonna be touching anything higher than the bottom couple of shelves, but I know it's there. And really in the end, isn't that what matters? And besides all that, the great thing about these finishes aside from the wax is they're all water-based, which means really easy application and cleanup along with low odor and quick dry time. Well, that's all I have to say about that. I'll be monitoring the comments. If you have any questions about the build, check out all the links down below to all the sponsors that made this video possible. And I'll see you on the next build, which might involve pallet wood. It'll definitely involve pallet wood.